chance to interview him one-on-one. And my takeaway from it was like, this kid is, has grown up. Like never, I ne- like I never thought, and I don't mean that in a, this kid's such a, mat- so immature, he's taking talent seriously. Not like that at all. Just in terms of physically maturing. It was like, you know, you saw this kid that was drafted number one overall by the Phillies. And then you kind of saw this like wiry little teenager trying to figure out professional baseball. And when I saw him and talked to him, I got a sense for a guy that was really wrapping his head around the game. And he comes into this spring trade and, you know, he had his struggles. He didn't take the bull by the horns and his uh, opportunities, although limited last year, he didn't take advantage of it, unfortunately. But this year, you know, Kevin Long comes in here as a swing coach. You see him, it's six, it's six home runs in spring training. And he's playing the field well. He looks like a man out there. And you're thinking, maybe this is the year where he puts it all together. And then we look at it and say, wow, that's why the Phillies took him number one overall. And he's doing all of that. And we're championing his cause on the show. I know you guys are on social media and all that. And then in his last at bat of the spring, quote unquote, he breaks his hand. A hairline fracture out six weeks for Mickey Moniak. And like there are times, man, where like as a human, you just feel bad for people. And I feel horrible for Mickey Moniak. The guy is clearly put in the work. He's gone to the weight room. He's been in the batting cages. He has been trying and working his ass off to get to the major league level and prove that he is a big league ball player. And he finally gets that news that he's going to be breaking camp as a big league ball player. And this is what happens in the last day. I'm disappointed as a fan of the Phillies that we won't get to watch what he can give this team from the jump, from jump this season. I feel horrible for him as a human being that uh, he is uh, not going to be on the opening day roster because of his injury. He's not going to be in the open. He's not going to be the starting lineup, I should say, uh, to start the season because of his hand injury is expected to miss six weeks.